Antonio is all in since he's here. Is that a joke or what? Yeah, no. yeah, he's yeah, he's all in. That's what he said. Did he practice today? Mm -hmm. Yep. I gotta ask. Was that helmet? Yes, he did. <laughs> yep. Is it a new helmet? It, it's a certified helmet, Vic. So he's he's all in, ready to go. That's that's my understanding, and uh, really happy to have him out here. He's 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 a great player. Helmet aside, how's he running and cutting, and where is he in that part of the game? Good. He's really good. Yeah, he's uh, showing great retention of what we're doing. He hadn't missed. He didn't miss the off-season program. He's been here and out of here in meetings, and um, it's just good to have him back. But he's he's in great shape. Uh, he's running hard and running good routes. The feet no longer an issue for him at this point. No, I don't think so. You'd have to ask him that. Yeah, he's just, we have a bug going around here. We got a lot of guys that aren't feeling great. Um, I don't know that he'll play or not play right now for the uh, Canada trip. I think you might have touched on this the other day, but you plan on taking everybody to Canada? Everybody that's going to, uh, I think, play. You know, we're still looking uh, at our list of injuries and our rotations and uh, finalizing who's going, who's not going. But I don't have any final answer right now. So I didn't say that. Okay. No, I didn't say that. Do you have a, uh, an emerging competition to be the swing tackle? Well, you know, David Sharp's had a good camp. I think um, Brandon Parker's done an excellent job. Uh, he struggled a little bit uh, one series against the Rams, but he played very well against Arizona, playing both positions. He and David are both flipping sides, which is good for their, I think, uh, experience and their role that they're competing for. Do you expect Jared to play on Thursday night? Don't know yet. Uh, do not know. Like I said, it'll all depend on the health of our team, uh, who's uh, who's in and who's out. Have you guys sent somebody up to take a look at the turf? We have, and yes. What's the word back? I heard it's field turf. You know, I, I didn't uh, examine it myself, but it's a new stadium. It's a great opportunity for us to uh, make some friends. Is there, anything, is there anything you'll be watching in particular that you want to see from this game? Well, we've got a lot of players that have worked really hard to uh, put themselves in position and make the team. And uh, this will be the biggest game of their careers in that regard. So we've got a number of guys that are on the cusp of making it, and they need to play well uh, in this game to solidify their, their position. So, yeah, there's a number of guys that we're anxious to see. Great. You know, I wouldn't read uh, into all the uh, hard knocks being a distraction or the Antonio Brown uh, distractions. There's been no distractions. We've had 89 guys working hard. Our, our film is out there for you to watch our first two games. If you see a distracted football team, then I disagree with you. So I'm not going to make any more of it than that. There's a lot of teams that are missing star players. My brother's missing one. Uh, the Cowboys are missing one. Texans are missing one. That's part of this league. Every year, there's uh, exceptions. Uh, that uh, you got to deal with, and uh, I like our team, man. I like the way we're competing. I like the way we're working. We're not at uh, Green Bay, is that Aaron Rodgers is up in the air. Would you like to see him play going against a guy like that in the preseason? Yeah, I think you'd love to see him play. You know, he's a great quarterback, one of the best, and um, you never know what they're thinking, what they're going to do. You sure. never do know in the preseason, but it'd be great for our our young defense to see the best in the business. That's good. Nelson still dealing with it. Yep, he's got a slight ankle, did not practice today. Don't think it's serious, but uh, don't know that he'll play. It's just hard to give you any real concrete information because we do have a slew of players that are, you know, lingering uh, after the three weeks of training camp. It looks like Abram had a, a, a cast on his head. Yeah, he's, he's got an irritated wrist. Um, Max Crosby uh, is another guy that has a wrist problem, so. Uh, we're, we're banged up a little bit. We've had a physical training camp, and um, hopefully some of these guys are able to make the trip. Is your rush mindset any different on this game because it's in Canada than it would be a Patriots? No, not really. We'll treat it like a normal road game. Um, like I said, uh, we have to respond to a tough schedule. 
we're going to fly a lot of hours this year. And uh, we're going to play home games in foreign countries. This doesn't sound uh, right, but that's the facts. All right. Did any of you stuff is behind you guys? Is it, we say it's a relief. Are you relieved that it's behind you, or has it been? Uh... It's not been a distraction to me at all. I mean, I hate to break it to anybody, but we we've known what 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 the status is regarding his feet. He just showed up with frostbite. I've never had a guy show up with frostbite, uh, and fortunately, we got that thing under control. And this grievance thing is is no laughing matter. It's something that's really important to him. And there's nothing wrong with supporting your players on things that they believe in. We also understand the league's position, but um, I'm confident that he's going to be a heck of a player for us and be ready to roll. Okay, guys, thank you. All right, Thanks. okay, guys.